Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anda Lee, and I blog about all kinds of stuff, mostly watercolor painting, because that's my favorite thing in the world, specifically gouache. Um, if you haven't run across my channel before, I've blogged about some social media topics that relate to artists, and I have a couple websites. You can check it out below if you want to. In this video, I'm going to be doing something really basic. We're going to just be using our iPad and Procreate to create a digital sticker of your pet photos. And the reason I want to do this is because in the next video, we're going to be taking watercolor paintings and making them into stickers. So in this one, we're going to do the basics and hopefully have some fun, make some cute stickers of our pet's faces. And yeah, so if you have a favorite pet photo that you want to use, a cat, a dog, reptile, a bird, whatever it is, just grab it and grab your iPad and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a great photo from my cell phone and I'm going to transfer it to my iPad through um, AirPlay. And I've already done that. So what I'm doing is I'm opening up Procreate and I'm creating a new layer. Then I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to click on the import a photo or import an image button. And scroll down and find the photo that I just imported. Looking for the kitty photo. And then I'm going to zoom in by pinching on the screen and then select with the select button, the actual area that I want to copy. I just want my cat's face, so I'm gonna draw the little ant lines around her face. That's the part of the image that I want to be the sticker. So once you finish outlining your cat's face, there's that little box at the bottom where you can copy and paste. And when you hit the button copy and paste, it creates a new layer with your cat image on it. So basically what I did was I opened up my layers panel, I turned off the picture that had the whole cat's body, I made that invisible. And then I created a new layer because I'm going to do something kind of weird right now. It's just an idea I had in my mind. Uh, when I was thinking of making the sticker, but it looks like her head is kind of like floating So what I decided to do is create a new layer behind the cat's face And now I'm gonna draw a color behind it. I really want it to look like a real sticker So I've selected a brush and then I picked a color that I can see And I'm painting on the layer behind the cat's face And so I'm doing like this weird funky pink color uh, just because I wanted to see how it would look and if it would look like a real sticker. I know it's kind of weird and kitschy looking, but uh, that was the idea of doing the sticker, was to make it just look like a real sticker. And I'm not really liking the color. It, it also looks a little bit messy, so I'm going in and I'm fixing that a little bit. And then ultimately I'm going to mess around and try different colors just to see which one actually looks good and which one I think would look awesome in the digital planner. The pink is kind of cute, but it just doesn't really look the color that I want it to be. So I tried out a black color here, and the way that I do that is by doing the alpha lock. The alpha lock prevents you from drawing anywhere where you haven't done a brush stroke already. And when you do the alpha lock, then you can select a new color and then you hit fill color in the layers panel. I'm going to write out the instructions below because I know I'm not explaining this very well, but if you need to go back or pause the video, please do. Um, I'll also leave some like written guidelines down below so you can see how I did that. Now I went up and I added some text. I want to add her name. Her name is Rini. And I thought I would just style the text so when you select it, your keyboard pops up and then there's an option to stylize the text so that you can change the font and the color and just all that stuff. Um, I moved it to the top layer because I kind of want it on the right corner of the sticker. 
and I'm gonna double tap on the text and that brings up the style box where I can change the font. So I'm gonna scroll through and I'm gonna find a font. Um, something I really love about Procreate is that you can also download your own fonts to your iPad, which is really amazing. I've done this before, but I don't have a lot of custom uh, fonts loaded right now, so I'm just gonna pick one that I think looks kinda cute on it. I'm gonna go with that. Uh, the background behind the cat, which you can't see right now, that is white. I think it's gonna look really cute in the journal to have the white outline around the kitty head. So I've decided to keep the, the white behind it and made, made her name white too. I think it kinda works together. <laughs> So now I'm going to pick another brush and I'm just going to clean it up a little bit before I choose to export it. I decided to turn off the background layer because I think um, it's easier to see what you're doing on the white layer if you don't have the background on. I also don't want the, the white background to export with the image so it's important that you turn it off before you export the kitty head or your, your pet sticker head. And uh, yeah, I'm just cleaning it up and then we're gonna export it right now. Just cleaning up some of those lines. So now what I'm doing is with the background turned off, I'm gonna export it as a PNG because PNGs are transparent and that will ensure that I don't have a black or a white background in the image. And now I'm gonna go over to GoodNotes so that I can actually import the sticker. I clicked on the image button at the top and then selected the picture that I wanted to import. And this is a really, really basic way of how you can import your stickers. You could have a bunch and organize them into an album just for your digital journal. So thanks for joining me in the studio today. I hope that you got a lot of value out of this video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it very much. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna be doing some watercolor washi tapes and turning our art into digital stickers in the next video. So I'll see you there.